It was a long night for people in El Centro, maybe even for some of you right here in San Diego County. I'm Natalie Chuck, and this is a map of a series of earthquakes that hit that area right around midnight and continued for hours. I spoke with one expert about what he says this means when it comes to the future of earthquakes in the area. This was the inside of one home in El Centro moments after a 4.8 magnitude earthquake struck nearby in the middle of the night. I was already in bed and uh, it just started shaking. And so it was like, uh, and, and it just built up and there was like rumbling. Norma Aguilar has lived in neighboring Calexico for almost 60 years. How are you feeling today? You mentioned you're a little sleepy. Well, yeah, because there was continuous aftershocks and I couldn't sleep because my dog was freaking out. As someone born and raised there, these kinds of earthquakes are nothing new to her. It's a very complex area right there. Dr. Pat Abbott is a professor of geology. 12 magnitude three and four earthquakes within less than three hours. That, that's, that's quite an event. Not big enough earthquakes that's gonna kill anybody or do serious damage, but um, give people a lot to talk about today. Take a look at the damage that was inflicted in the heart of downtown Calexico. You can see there's glass strewn everywhere. Aguilar says the shaking briefly brought back memories from the 7.2 magnitude earthquake on Easter day back in 2010. Things were flying and that's when we said, okay, we better get out of here. Plates were flying, plants were tumbling down, and stuff like that. But even if these earthquakes seem like a common occurrence, Dr. Abbott says when it comes to future events, Mother Nature is consistently unpredictable. We don't know if this is it dying down and that'll be the end of it, or if this is uh, the beginning of something that's going to last longer and potentially even lead to something bigger. Natalie Chuck, ABC 10 News.